This Conrad model of an MAN TGS four-wheel drive tipper with a loading crane comes in a standard branded Conrad box. There's no information about the real machine and the model comes inside the foam wrapping that uh, Conrad likes to have in their branded boxes and this works well to protect the model. Inside we have the model and a small bag of a few parts but there are no instructions provided. When you tip the bag out you get some door mirrors, some roof aerials and a hook for the loading crane. You have to do a little bit of work to separate the door mirrors and the best way to do that is to use a sharp modelling knife to get a nice clean edge on the pieces. When you've got the parts separated it's easy to fit the main door mirrors. The holes are preformed in the cab and so it's just a matter of putting the mirrors into those holes and get them in nice and tightly and they stay not on their own. There's another very small mirror which has to be fitted and that um, is a small piece with a hole in it and that pushes into the frame on one of the door mirrors and it's a little bit fiddly but you can do it. There's a roof aerial to fit and these can be quite frustrating um, but the best way to do it is to trim a little bit of the thickness off of the end of the aerial and then it pushes into the hole easily. There's one final piece to fit which is the hook which goes onto the end of the arm of the loading crane and that's just a simple uh, clip on affair and uh, when you fitted it it forms a connection which has got a bit of movement which is good. So it's on with the detail and we'll start by looking at the chassis which is really pretty good. The four-wheel drive transmission is modelled and at the rear the suspension looks pretty good, it's uh, plastic and moving to the front the steering isn't accurately modelled, it's purely functional. The cab has got clean lines with some good details and at the bottom the lights have plastic lenses and moving up there's a visor on the windscreen and some large orange beacon lights. At the rear the wheel arches look good, there's a plastic towing hitch and the lights are painted rather than having plastic lenses. Looking a bit more in close up the tyres have a good tread and you can see the leaf springs of the front suspension uh, just behind the wheel. The pistons for the stabilisers are simple screw threads with a plastic pad at the end and although the loading arm is modelled on a power finger there's no graphics to indicate a model number. Detail of the loading arm is simple with no hydraulic hoses or anything like that but the rivets are small so they're quite unobtrusive and the colour match of the cylinder jackets with the metal arms is very good. At the end the telescopic pieces and the hook are plastic. Looking now at the features and the model rolls very well indeed, very smooth on the test surface. The rear axle uh, floats rather than having real suspension, there's no suspension on the front axle but the steering uh, mechanism on the front axle is, is excellent and you can get a very uh, hard lock on the steering on this model and with the hard lock set um, it pushes along just fine and that uh, part of the whole model is very well executed. As expected the cab can tilt and it goes forward about 45 degrees and it's always good to see that the cab can stay in a tilted position and under the cab there is a, a plastic engine which can be seen. After closing the cab back up we can look at the rear of the model and it's got a tipping body and that goes to about 45 degrees it's fairly stiff mechanism so it will hold any pose you want to set and at the end there's a tailgate which uh, can be opened or closed and it's good there are no unsightly rivets on the tailgate. Um, the other very neat feature on the body is the opening uh, sides which just can be folded down and give some different display poses and you just can clip them back up again. Let's have a look at the loading crane and we'll start with the uh, stabiliser pads which are on beams which just pull out on both sides of the model. Um, these beams are plastic and they're just a little bit flexible really, um, some metal ones would have been nicer and the pads can just screw down and when you've got them set you can open up the power finger. It has two metal sections which um, just lift up, um, you open the first one up and then pull out the second one and you can see that the hook's already mounted on the end and if you want to increase the radius of the lift you have two telescopic uh, sections which can be pulled out. Um, they are quite stiff to get out and actually slightly awkward too but um, it's not a problem you just have to uh, try and get the best grip you can and then you can just pull them out and when you do that you get a fair 
uh, extension on the whole uh, loading crane arm. The hook at the end can be positioned on either of the two telescopic sections so we'll just uh, simply unhook that and rehook it back in, on the uh, inner section and then you can display it that way if you prefer. The other feature is that the uh, loading crane will uh, fully rotate through 360 degrees so you can show it lifting any way you want. This is a very likeable model from Conrad. It has quite good detailing with very good functionality so overall it's highly recommended. Mm -hmm.